Okay, so this question is asking us to prepare closing entries. So closing entries are prepared at the end of the month or the end of the quarter or the end of the year to get everything ready for the next accounting period, however long that might be. It's kind of like a, a basketball game or a football game. Once a game is played, the team gets to start fresh with the next game they play. So if they happen to lose really badly, say the score is a football game and it's 8 to 29, they don't carry that score on to the next game. That gets cleaned out and they start fresh for the next next time. And the same happens with business. So this happens to be for the month or year or quarter ended December 31st. We're going to clear out certain accounts so we can get it ready for the next accounting period so we can keep track of how well we perform in the next accounting period. And what we need to close out here are what we call our red accounts. And they're basically just at the bottom here. They're our, our income statement accounts. So we need to get rid of our revenue, zero that account out, our expenses, and our dividends account. So we can think of those as our red accounts, R-E-D, revenue, expenses, and dividends. Those are what we call temporary accounts. Those all need to be zeroed out so we can start again with our next period. So they're keeping track of our net income. We want to be able to see what is our net income for this upcoming month, quarter, or year. And then we'll compare it to what it was previously. Now you can see here at the top, these are our balance sheet accounts, our assets, liabilities, and equity accounts. They don't go anywhere. Those are our permanent accounts. Things like cash, the monies you have in the bank, Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere just because it's the end of the month. Liabilities, unfortunately, they don't go anywhere either, though. They're still going to exist. In our long-term assets, things like in our other assets, equipment, buildings, supplies, again, they're going to carry over just fine from one accounting period to the next. So those don't go anywhere. But these temporary accounts we need to get rid of. And your textbook uses four closing entries. I've seen some textbooks use three and some use two. So we're going to stick with the way that your textbook does it. So the first thing we always need to close out is our revenue. And it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. If our revenue, you can see here, carries a credit balance, 246320 And I know it's a credit because debits go on the left, credits go on the right. This is on the right-hand column. So in order to bring that balance to zero, I just need to do the opposite. I need to debit service revenue 246320 Okay, now that money is going to be offset. The corresponding credit is going to go to a new account called Income Summary. This is the, the account that varies depending on the method that the author chooses to use. But Income Summary is just going to allow us to capture the income that we earned during that period. And you'll see here in a second, and we'll post it into our retained earnings. Next thing we need to do is close out all of our expenses. Well, we have quite a few here. Advertising, depreciation, insurance, rent, salaries, supplies, and utilities. These all currently carry debit balances, and that's correct. The only way to get rid of those debit balances now will be to credit them. So I'm going to come down here, skip a line for the debit, and I'm just going to enter those amounts in 2525. I've got 3600. I'll go back and type in the, the titles here in just a second. I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. 9900, whoops. 9900 for rent expense. 165,000 for salaries expense. Supplies, 1505 and 3340 for utilities. Now let me go back and type in the uh, the titles here. So advertising expense and depreciation. I like it when I put in the, this is the depreciation expense for the equipment, the insurance expense. I was gonna say, I like it when I type in the amounts first because it then it will properly indent. Rent expense. Salaries expense, supplies expense. There we go. 
one more utilities. Okay, so you can see I just copied straight down the line. Now we have to add up all of our credits to get the offsetting debit. And that is going to be debited to our income summary account. Again, we're capturing our income revenues minus expenses here. So if I add up all of these credits, I get $187,270. Making progress now we need to close that income summary account into our retained earnings so in order to do that I need to take the credit 246320 and get my calculator out here 246320 and I'm going to subtract the debit 187 270 and that's fifty nine thousand fifty dollars that's my net income then I'm going to put that into my retained earnings so fifty nine thousand fifty dollars is my net income one debit one credit and so retained earnings is where that net income is going to get posted into so you can see here that's a credit that's increasing my equity, my retained earnings account. And I'm gonna debit that income summary. And by doing that, if I add this debit, 59,050, to this income summary debit, 187,270, that should equal the credit that I have here for my revenue, 246,320. So that income summary account will be zero then. Essentially add those two numbers together that should equal the offsetting credit for income summary. And the very last thing is to close out dividends. So we had $73,000 here in dividends. So I want to bring that balance to zero and that reduces our retained earnings because we're giving away money. We're taking money out of our business and giving it to our investors. So you can see here again, dividends had a $73,000 debit balance. So I need to credit my dividends by that amount, 73,000. And I will debit my retained earnings, which is going to reduce them by $73,000. Thank you.